Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to episode number 18 of the RuneScape Road to 120 Invention. I'm starting off today's episode by grabbing some pieces of the Royal Crossbow. I went and got my Coral Crossbow from that quest. Uh, it was about a 5, maybe 10 minute quest. It was pretty simple, really ridiculously easy. And now I get to grab all these parts, which is going to cost me a little over 1 mil. Head over to Thurgo, which I will be doing in a second, and put them together. Basically creating my royal crossbow, but first I'm mean, to, to finish it up I gotta go into the fight against the Queen Black Dragon. And I think you gotta get to like the fourth stage where she uses a, a certain temperature of fire that can actually forge the crossbow. But I'm not gonna be doing that for a little while. I do not plan on actually fighting her very soon, so I don't actually need this royal crossbow quite yet. But the next time I go to train range, maybe I just wanna uh, get it ready so that I can augment it and get some XP for it. So maybe I do go in there and finish it up kind of soon, but it won't be this episode. As you can see though, I got it down to the point where it is ready to go be finished up at any moment. So we got that out of the way. I'm glad to have that through. For the next decent section of the episode, we are going to be disassembling a lot. Uh, for one, we have a lot of stuff from Water Fiends to disassemble. A little bit of XP, a little bit of materials. I also bought some more bones, a uh, pretty good amount of bones, some big bones, a little bit of baby dragon bones, and I have some dragon bones from like, uh, I think from uh, those, those treasure chests, I don't know. I don't know where I got them, but I have them. We need those PS components for Enlightened. I want to put Enlightened on a dragon hatchet. Uh, which also means that we have to discover the tool augmenter and whatnot, but we can get to that in a minute. I also want to get one more perk on this dragon hatchet, and that would be honed. Uh, the big thing I'm going for here is sharp components to try to get that honed perk. Uh, I want to use like three or four sharp components uh, per gizmo to try to get honed, and what honed does, I believe, is just going to make it so I have less of a chance at failing when I'm trying to woodcut. So when I go to do elders, which is what I'll do first, it's just, it means I'll be chopping them a little bit quicker. Not that much quicker, it wouldn't be ridiculous. The bigger one I'm looking for is Enlightened because of that enhanced XP for the weapon, or in this case, the tool. I would like to get this thing to level 10 and siphon the XP out of it. Especially with some Elders, it's pretty easy money making and it's very, very AFK. It may not necessarily be the quickest way to charge up this Dragon Axe, or um, I, I believe it's the best money in terms of wood cutting, but I really haven't gone out and tested stuff in a long time, so I wouldn't really know, but I, I I'm pretty sure with logs being nearly 5k a piece that it's going to be the top money maker in wood cutting. There's no way you can get up above 500k and anything else, right? Someone let me know, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the money making wise for wood cutting. This is what we've got. And chopping elder trees is one of my two go-to AFK money making methods with or without inventions. So the fact that I can just augment this hatchet and then go ahead and run and do some elders for some invention XP, I really don't see why not. It's, it's actually extremely convenient. So I will be discovering those right after we finish disassembling all these bones. I'm about halfway through that now, which means I have a little bit of time to talk to you about some other topics. First things first, of course, of course, we got to talk about baseball. Guys, last time I talked to you, my team, the Angels, were the best team since the All-Star break. They're still doing pretty well, but they're not the best team since the break um, anymore. <laughs> What's crazy is the team that's doing best since the All-Star break is now my hometown team, the Rockies, who are also not a great ball club this year. So the last couple weeks of baseball have been very exciting for me, so I have been in a good mood. But to douse, douse the fire a little bit here, give you some bad news, this is going to be the last episode for two weeks. Uh, you just won't have one episode next week. We'll be skipping one. Uh, I'll be gone for a week, so I won't be releasing really any videos next week past Monday. I will be releasing the Slayer on Monday, and then the next episode you guys get, the next video, is going to be like a week from then. It'll be missing a Slayer episode, too. Uh, it's kind of rough in terms of videos. I'm sorry, guys, but I will be leaving for a while. Uh, I'm going on vacation for a week, and there's just nothing I can do about it. So I apologize for that, but I will be looking forward to coming back, and we still have half an episode to go here. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting close to wrapping up all of these disassembling. Uh, I bought some of these adamant items. I was going to do rune, but it's kind of expensive, and I figured they would give me enough components. They gave me a pretty good amount of sharp components. Uh, what I need, what I'm not sure about is how many I, I really should expect to need to try to get the, uh, the honed perk. I know there are a couple other perks that they can give, so I'll try as many as I can, and if I don't get it, Oh well, it's not that big of a deal, but if I do get it, that would be really nice because it could speed up the process of leveling up this axe. And I'm really hoping that leveling up this axe doesn't take that much longer than the, the chest plate that we recently did. I can't imagine it's going to be horrible, and it's not like the chest plate took that long, but of course, if I had a choice, it would take less time this time. 
Now that we've finished up disassembling all those items, I go through the discovery process for the augmented hatchet and the tool gizmo. Uh, this isn't live like it usually is because you guys have seen the process of me going through it live. I just kind of jabber on about trying to get the perfect optimization like I did on the first one. And it doesn't always work out. I end up telling a couple crappy jokes and we just move on. So I decided I could voice over this one for you. We finished up the augmented uh, hatchets and now we got to work on the tool gizmo. Now I can augment my dragon hatchet and then this tool gizmo will allow me to put the perk on it. What's crazy is these things taking 150 inspiration. It's not a lot, but I definitely wanted to save up a little because I know some of the stuff we're unlocking soon takes quite a lot of inspiration. Uh, it's a little ridiculous, some of them. So I was trying to get a, you know, a pretty good, pretty good amount on each one of them, and I got a perfect optimization each time. So I think that's the first time I've ever sat down at this discovery table and just dropped two perfect optimizations. Very exciting news. Now I go ahead and build an augmenter and a couple of tool gizmos. I'm actually going to build uh, a bunch of tool gizmos. Like I said before, I am really trying to get enlightened and honed onto this bad boy. Those are the big ones here. There's a couple other perks that would be nice. The real big thing, honestly, is augmenting it so that when I use it, it levels up and eventually we can siphon the XP out of it. So just right now, it's, it's nice to have, but it would be better if we can go ahead and put a gizmo on it. There's why have invention if you can't put any perks on there, right? So we're really hoping for enlightened and honed. The PS components can give enlightened. You'll see that I'm going to be using three of them instead of five like I tried last time. I only got eight components, so I figured if I only use three, which can still give me level two enlightened, then I could try it twice just in case it doesn't work the first time. So here we have it. Uh, as you can see, when you put in four, uh, it doesn't make enough of a difference, so you can go ahead and just use three. I believe this is was a confident idea, and it ended up working. Uh, I got enlightened one, and we got wise, which is really not that big for me because I'm at 99 wood cutting and have no aspirations for getting like 50 million wood cutting XP. But wise does mean we'll get some extra wood cutting XP while we're out there. So very first tool gizmo went very well. In terms of getting honed, I tried five sharp components every time and we kept getting furnace i don't necessarily need furnace because it just gets rid of the log that you chopped and gives me extra xp and like i said i'm not looking for levels so furnace doesn't really help at all and unfortunately we got a bunch of furnace tool gizmos now but we at least we got enlightened we also got wise kind of a bonus it all worked out in the end. We got a decent looking hatchet here. So I am running over to some elder logs, some elder trees, excuse me, so I can chop elder logs. I estimate that I make right around 500k an hour with this. If I'm a little bit more AFK, which a lot of you know that happens, uh, it's probably more like 400k an hour. But it is AFK, and I, I do that on purpose so that I can work on some other stuff. So the fact that I drop from 500 to 400 occasionally doesn't bother me because I am getting some other stuff done, so I'm not wasting my time completely. The goal here clearly is to get this axe to level 10 and go ahead and siphon the XP out of it. I believe a dragon weapon, it's tier 60, it, it'll likely give less XP than, um, than what we got from the chest plate, which was a tier 70 weapon, so, or it was armor, but I, I don't believe that makes a difference. So really, I think we might get less XP from this, and my, my current estimate is it's going to take a little bit longer to charge up. But that's what you get for AFK, less XP, longer time, and it's really not that big of a deal. We're testing it out here. If it does work out well, since it is AFK and something that I can do just kind of on the side, not having to pay much attention while I work on some other stuff, this could turn out to be something that I do in between episodes a few times, just so that if it does give 150, maybe 200k XP to siphon it out when it's level 10, or even when it's level 12, once we get a few more invention levels, then we get some bonus invention XP, kind of speed up the process. Uh, it's not something that you guys really need to see me do every single time I charge up the axe, but it is something I'll just be like, alright guys, uh, I did get my axe to level 10 again, let's go ahead and siphon the XP out. And it'll be a good way to kind of speed up the process in terms of getting 120 invention. We are coming to a close on this episode, guys. I did really want to get level 10 just for this episode in this axe and get a bunch of XP, but I didn't have the time. Uh, it's, it's definitely a slower process than the chest plate was. I do get a pretty decent amount of XP per Elder Log. It was like 39.5 XP with the bonus from Enlightened. But they're kind of slow to chop. I'm really getting like 100 logs an hour. So 3.9 to 4K uh, XP an hour on the item. It does take 10 to 11 hours to charge this thing up. And that's not terrible. But I didn't have enough time to get it to level 10, unfortunately. But that'll probably be what's starting the next episode is finishing up this axe. 
draining a bunch of XP on it, and then moving on with our 120 inventions. So thank you very much for stopping in today, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. We made a pretty good leap moving into the, the tool section of invention. Uh, I would like to move on to things like the fishing rod. I don't really believe there's much for the pickaxe yet, but there could be. I'll look into it. Either way, thanks again, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on that like button and tell us what you enjoyed about it. If you're looking for some more RuneScape videos like this one, then be sure to join the cul-de-sac by subscribing for more. We will see you next time.